QView software is designed to confirm the integrity of your ADCP data. We want to make certain that the user in the field is collecting the best data possible and feels confident about that before they get back to the office. And you want the ability to take a look at the detailed analysis of the data collected during post-processing. What the QView software delivers is instant qualifications for the field user, speedy processing, and automatic high-quality report generations that can be printed out or saved in the environmentally friendly PDF file formats. We also deliver fully customizable and flexible quality rules. This means regardless of which agency or consulting firm that you work for, you get to set the rule set based on your parameters and your quality indicators. This is seamless, friendly integration with Wind River 2. It runs in the background and it allows you to collect data with the same software that you're familiar with today. So the QView operation overview is quite simple. You prepare the ADCP for a discharge measurement. You run your typical Wind River 2 setup. Wind River 2 will now do your quality assurance and quality control checks by testing the ADCP, calibrating the compass, and doing your moving bed tests. You then proceed to collect data, and then you verify data. While all of this is taking place, QView is running in the background, making sure that you're adhering to these and also making sure that the results of these tests fall within the parameters set by the rules. There are two modes of operation. The compact mode is designed for when you're collecting data. It sits in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So where you're collecting data you can still follow along during your transects, make sure that you're collecting good data and that the bins are all there and the ADCP is sending data back. Back in the office you can run this in a full report mode where this information and the quality assurance and quality control checks are provided in full detail. So what QView allows the users to do is to check the three main steps of your data collection process. Procedure, measurement, and transect. So right here you're taking a look at the procedure. It's checking that the ADCP tests were runs and pass. It's checking to make sure that not only did you do the compass calibration, but were the results of that compass calibration within the parameters established in the rules. It evaluates the moving bed test. Uh, with the moving bed test, it'll tell you if you have one and what the correction factor may be. And also suggests potential adjustments for magnetic distortions or moving bed phenomena. The QView also allows you to access to the critical QA data during the operation. This is during the measurement portion. So what we're doing here is we're going to check to make sure vessel velocity. It's imperative that the ADCP is not moving too fast through the water. So QView has a parameter in there that says what's your maximum vessel velocity. How much lost or missing data has it exceeded the thresholds that's been established? And there's many other parameters specified in the rules file as well that is being checked during each individual measurement. Once the measurement's done, it's typical you're going to do two, four, or maybe six or eight transects. So now we're going to start comparing transect to transect. So during the transect information, correlations and error bands of each transects of the current measurement are compared. Correlations with prior measurements are compared. Correlations within the ratings, are they within the parameters set by your agencies? QView also allows users to deliver quality high-grade reports. So the quality assurance data for each transect is going to be displayed. Each measurement is going to be displayed. Comparisons against your historical data and rating are going to be displayed. Transect variations from left to right and right to left transects as well as a discharge sensitivity analysis is presented in these detailed reports. So the discharge sensitivity analysis is a very important one. We worked very closely in cooperation with the USGS and Dave Mueller to make sure that his extract program was part of our QView software. It allows you to make certain that the extrapolations methods that you used at the top and the bottom are the best fit for the environmental conditions of the water. And if it's not, it will make recommendations as to which extrapolations method you should use and allows you to run the data back and see the results of the changes to your top and bottom extrapolations method. QView also has customized QAQC parameters. 
So for each rule that we have in there, you have the ability to set your thresholds. You also have the ability to turn that rule off if that is something that is not important to you or your organization. So all three of the previous parameters that we discussed, which was process, measurement, and transect, each have their independent rules that you're allowed to select. So procedure, measurement, and transect have their own thresholds that you determine prior to going out to data collection.